Well, my favorite time of year is upon us now, finally. It is getting to be fall. So last week was surely a taste of that that happened really quickly. So we were down in the 50s. We got four inches of rain, just slightly over four inches of rain, all last week when you know we haven't had any for basically the whole summer. So that was quite interesting. Today, I'm gonna show you some of the updates on what's happened after the sand, what's coming here in the fall season yet, and what you should be looking to do on your yard as well, as hopefully things are transitioning out of the heat and into the cooler weather, and you can start to make some adjustments there and spend your time on fall getting things prepped for next season. So there's this guy on YouTube who shall remain nameless that's first initial starts with a C and last starts with a W. Again, he's going to remain nameless. He's been telling people that you can't get your real mower back on your yard after you do these sanding projects for at least a couple weeks. You know, you got to do a couple rotary mows and all that stuff. Well, this might be sissy grass right here, but I ain't no sissy. So I already real mowed this the other day and today I'm cutting it down to a half inch out on the front section there and over on my other bluegrass section where I have the mono stands, which I'll show what those are looking like right now as well and neither of these have been overseeded with ryegrass so this these areas that have been overseeded I wasn't seeing too much germination yet because it was so cold we had a night that was actually down to 38 and that kind of put really some breaks on everything here this front section over here that's bluegrass I'm just letting that grow back in and naturally do what it does I didn't overseed anything into that section so let's do some mowing today it's the best part about fall is that I'm back to my mowing schedule of nearly close to every day probably if I wanted to and that is a good Good thing for me. How many times can you take it? How many shots are left in that gun? How many rounds can you go till you break? And how many times will you get back up? What do you do when you're losing? Where do you turn when the cards get stacked? You keep on pushing when you're black and blue. When do you got hope? You can come right back. Cause it ain't over. No, it ain't over. Let's take a closer look here. Of course, you can still see some of the sand down in here. It has not completely filled this in as thick as the grass was before, but that's gonna take some time. So I wanted to show you though about eight, nine days after that sand, what it looked like before, what it looks like now, and how that's kind of progressing along. Now, the only thing that's happened in between there, like I said, is we got the rain, and I did put that 10, 10, 10 fertilizer down on here, but and we should be looking pretty amazing by Halloween. So what I'd say I've learned about this bluegrass so far is that I probably could have been slightly more aggressive on the low areas. So what I did this first time was I just put a nice layer over everything. I tried to rake in some heavier on the low areas, but for the most part, I think most everything kind of got a fairly even coat on it. So some of it has settled after that rain into the lower spots, but some of it hasn't yet. So I do still have some higher spots. So seeing how everything came in here and has recovered so quickly, I think I'd feel more comfortable next time, maybe being slightly more aggressive on the lower spots and trying to work that stuff in so that I'm actually working on those lower spots more and matching them with the high. Of course though, it's a pretty smooth yard at this point. Everything's looking pretty good and it's just nice to be out here mowing again. Sun shines out. It's Ball. Can't get much better than that, so not complaining whatsoever. So you're going to see these spots over here. One, this hasn't fully recovered yet from a little extra iron in the summertime that caused some damage over here. So those spots need to fill in yet. I've been waiting for the weather to get cooler to start pushing my fertilizer. That's what's going to happen here on this section and things will start to fill in. I also went slightly more aggressive with some sand and let that sit there so I can see how well it spreads into there, but that's kind of the plan with that. But otherwise, wow. But in all seriousness here, if you do have a reel that you just sharpened, don't take it over these areas yet because you are picking up some sand and I can hear it every once in a while that it hits a little piece here and there. And so that's a reel that I needed to sharpen. That's really why I started doing this so fast and why I changed that out into an older reel that I need to sharpen anyway. So if you just freshly sharpened, I would probably not put that right on here. 
or raise your height up to where you were before you put the sand down. So I had cut this down to a half inch and now I'm back to a half inch, but the first cut I did, I raised it probably about a quarter inch. I was probably at three quarters or so. And that way I wasn't digging back down into that sand layer so aggressively right away. Well, there we have it. Should I actually be mowing this? Nah, I don't know. There's some stuff coming up right now, but when I did an inspection after this, it really didn't look like it affected anything because it's sissy grass, but it's not so sissy. And you can just look at this in all of its glory right here. I've got all the other elites of different types of grasses. I've got some elite blue grasses around here. Of course, it looks good too, but nothing compares to this right here. All right, so this is a tip for all of you right now. It doesn't have to be just low cut grass or renovations or sand projects that you're working on, but as things have started to cool, hopefully in your area, and hopefully some moisture has returned, or you're able to get out now and maybe put down a good soaking down on your yard to start to get that dormancy to come off of there. So now what you should focus on for the fall season is getting some fertilizer back on the yard. Fall, as we've talked about before, is the best time to build into next season. So we've got this season to really get some nutrients in the ground, get the yard going. We've got the spring to kind of hold on to that thing, make a few adjustments there as well before you get to the battle of summer. And that's really all that is always going on with cool season grass is fall and spring are our best times. Summer is our time when we have to battle against all the stresses and things that the lawn doesn't really like. So that's the whole program here, but fall is the best time to start building all that stuff. So what I like to do now is I start putting down fertilizer more often. So for some of you, if you have the time to do it, I'm putting down about a quarter pound right now every single week on some of these areas that I want to push all that growth back into. Now, I used to go even heavier than that. I don't think I need to on my low cut turf, but I used to go around a half a pound a week sometimes, especially since it's later into September. If you have some taller cut grass, then you can start to force some of that to really grow in and just keep up with your mowing like crazy. Mow as much as you possibly can during this fall season. That's going to help things as well, just to make sure you keep up with all of that growth. But start to get some fertilizer down. Check out my fall program video from last year if you'd like some more details on what I'm doing on that fall program. But today I'm going to be putting down some more fertilizer here and starting to push this growth on this bluegrass so that it'll start to thicken up after that sanding that I just did. So lastly today I'm going to be applying some of the soil hume. This is out of my lawn essentials box and a lot of people ask me when to apply these things. I do have a schedule for this and it's a free guide if you'd like to check it out on my website. So I do have a, a schedule if you'd like to figure out sort of when to apply your regular granular products, when to add in these little liquids here. That's all on there so check that out if you would like to learn more about those. So this is a humic fulvic and it has some seaweed in here, kelp. So what I'm trying to do here is push some more root growth yet this fall onto those sections that I put the sand on. I want to get those back to normal as quickly as possible. So I'm going to try to use just a little extra boost with this and then probably I'll be putting this on the rest of the front yard here and the side yard as things grow in as well. It's a good time after the stresses of the season to just give yourself a little extra boost there. That's what I use those things for. So let's get this done.
So I got finished up today with just a little bit of cleanup work. I have a huge announcement coming about my backyard here very soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that. More stuff about fall coming and also some updates on my renovation projects, some exciting stuff going on there. So thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time.